welcome to my unboxing of the Halloween collection. Now this is the biggest haul I've ever done for Lush and I've watched other videos over um, other channels and people always say that the Halloween haul is the best and I can now understand why because the variety of items and the creativity and the scents is just brilliant I think. So I have spent a lot of money on this haul, um, but I just thought I haven't, I've never tried any of the Halloween stuff before, apart from the Lord of Misrule shower gel and the Ghost in the Dark soap I've got. Um, so I've got quite a few items here. I think it's 27 items. So yes, it cost me a fortune. Um, but I thought I can do quite a lot of demo videos with these items as well. So um, I'm gonna show you what they are and what I think of them. Um, the box arrived two days ago but I wasn't feeling well enough to do the video and um, I was going to leave it and open it as I did the video but then I thought no I've got some fresh things in there so I had to open the box, take out the fresh items, put them in the fridge and so I have smelt a few of the items in the top section because I just got tempted but everything underneath I haven't even looked at yet. Um, you'll get my first impression when I smell things. So what I'll do is I'll go through them, tell you what I think of the smell, and then I can give you the ingredients. So I will be looking down, um, because I do have my laptop um, on my lap, so that I can refer to the ingredients for you. And I've made a list of all the prices as well. If I forget any prices or anything, then I'll put it into a banner. Um, before I get started, don't forget I am doing a giveaway once I get to 250 subscribers. Um, so I will be giving away some Lush products and some Body Shop products. So if you're interested in trying to win, um, just don't forget to subscribe to my channel, um, press the like button, and also let me know which items you got for Halloween and which ones you're impressed with so far, because I'm always interested to know what other people think about products as well. So I just want to show you how big the box is. So it's probably the biggest box I've had so far from Lush arriving. And yeah, look, jam packed with stuff. So um, I got everything apart from the Lord of Misrule massage bar. And the reason I didn't get that is because I have got enough massage bars at the moment. And I thought I'd rather spend that money on something else that I really liked the look of. So I'll show you what I got. And the massage bar is a limited edition item. So if you like Lord of Misrule, um, it's eight pounds. And what you do with massage bars, you just put it onto your skin and then it, your, your body temperature will naturally melt the oils in the massage bar. So you can use it like instead of using um, like moisturizer, body lotion, that sort of thing. So if you are interested in, in that product, um, yeah, have a look at the Lord of Misrule massage bar. So the first item that I got, um, and I didn't mean to buy it, but when I saw it on the website, I just thought it was so cute. And I just thought it was perfect for um, storing some items. Um, and that is the Haunted House Tin. And I just thought this is actually bigger than I expected as well. I didn't expect it to be this big. I thought it would be smaller. And I just like all the details on there. I just think it's really well done. So you've got a design on either side. On the back as well you've got ghosts and things at windows um, you've got a little cat there in the window um, and then it says lush underneath and um, I just thought this would be really good for storing products like soaps or massage bars um, but yeah it's quite big so you can get quite a few products in here so um, this is £10 in the UK and interestingly, I, I, by mistake, I clicked on um, Lush um, America, North America site and I was interested to see how the prices for items differ and I noticed that in America, I think this was like $6 or something like that, so it was cheaper. Um, but then some of the shower gels are more expensive. So, um, and one of you, I think, in France has mentioned how much more expensive the shower gels are over there. So, quite quite interesting to see how prices differ. But yeah, I really liked this, and I'm glad I've got it. So I will be storing something in here. And then the next item I got, and I was really looking forward to trying this because I thought I bet I'm going to like it. And I did take a gamble, and I did buy a medium bottle instead of the small one and that is the blood orange shower gel 
So this bottle is 290 grams and it costs 14 pounds. You can get a smaller bottle um, for 120 grams and that's seven pounds. Or if you really like it, um, you can get 550 grams for 23 pounds. And um, I just love citrus scents. So I just had a feeling I was really going to like this. And when I first smelt it, I have really smelt this one. Yeah, it's, it is lovely. It's a lovely scent. It smells like, um, the first time I smelt it, it reminds me, I don't know if you've ever tried the San Pellegrino um, blood orange fizzy drinks. It smells exactly like that. So um, yeah, really pleased that I got the medium bottle and I took the gamble. So the ingredients in this are, or the scent notes anyway, are fresh orange juice, organic blood orange oil, bergamot oil, divana oil and geranium oil. Um, and then you've got other bits in there, but those are the main scent notes. And yeah, I really like this. So if you like citrus scents, you like orange smells, then definitely um, order this. Um, you will, um, I reckon you'll definitely like it. And then the next item I got, I have, it's one of the things I have tried before and I only got a small bottle just because I wanted to get a bigger one of the blood orange. And that is the Lord of Misrule shower gel. Now this um, is a very unusual scent which I used to hate the first time I smelt it and I now really like it and um, it has patchouli, vanilla and pepper in so the pepper sounds very odd but um, yeah it actually works really well I think the vanilla makes it quite sweet and it's a lovely green colour I do have a bottle of this on the go in the bathroom at the moment and this is one of the most popular products at Halloween for Lush. And this bottle is seven pounds for the little one. Um, the medium bottle is 16 pounds for 290 grams. And then you can go all the way up to a kilo bottle if you really like it for 43 pounds. But yeah, I know this is really popular and everybody gets excited when this scent comes out. And the Lord of Misrule range this year is absolutely massive. So I'll show you everything that I got. I have actually done a separate review on this. So if you're interested in watching, just have a look at my other videos. The next item I got, I'm really curious to try. I do think it's expensive. So um, what I might do is a little review on this and let you guys know what I think. But that is the Lord of Misrule candle. And I know that the candles get very mixed reviews. So some people say they're really small, they don't smell very much. Um, some people have said they're the size of a tea light. I, I wouldn't go that far. They're not as small as a tea light, but they are quite small, I think, for £12. This is how much this will be. But at the scent of this, it does smell exactly like Lord of Misrule. Um, and the scent on this is actually quite strong in, in here. So I'll be interested to see how well it burns and how it fills a room. Um, so if you'd like me to review this candle, just let me know um, and I can do that soon. But yeah, I'm curious to see how well received this candle is going to be. And then the next item um, I got is a little bath bomb and he's really cute. And the actual scent of this um, is the scent I pick up most from the box as it's open. I kept smelling something as the box has been in my lounge for two days. And I kept smelling something in the box, I was wondering what it was, and it's actually this bath bomb. So I'm really hoping that the scent does last in the bath as well. And that is the ghosty bath bomb. And he's such a cute design. And then he's got like a, um, a rainbow streak down the side. So it's a bit like Toby's magic cow and the snowman from Christmas. So you'll get like a rainbow effect in the bath. But the scent of this is lovely really fruity sort of scent. I'll tell you the ingredients. This is £4.50. So the ingredients on this one, um, scent notes, are lemongrass oil, Sicilian lemon oil, Persian lime oil, um, cream of tartar, but those are the main scents. Um, so, oh, this has got popping candy in as well, so that should be good. So this one would be really good for um, children as well because um, I can imagine children will love the popping candy and the rainbow effect so yeah I really like this one and I love the scent it's not full on lemongrass it smells more like um, lemon to me like lemon sherbet but quite strong yeah really like the scent of this one 
Next up is a bubble bar and I love the scent of this anyway so I knew I was going to love this bubble bar. But, um, look at the design, this is this, the Bubble Lugosi bubble bar and um, it's really cute, it's got a little um, vampire on there and it smells lovely, this is quite strong smelling as well. So this is Sultana scented, so if you like um, the Sultana of soap scent and the blackberry bath bomb you will really like this bubble bar. I love this scent, it's like a a fruity creamy scent and it is one of my favourite um, scented soaps actually. Yeah, love that. And the fact it's a bubble bar as well, you should be able to get a few baths out of this. So that makes it more cost effective than the bath bomb. So if you're a bit short of cash and you can't afford to spend lots of money on bath bombs, then definitely have a look at this, especially if you like this Sultana scent. So the ingredients on this are perfume, bergamot oil, olibanum oil, um, and yeah, those are the main scent notes. There's other bits in there as well. But yeah, I love the scent of this. Really creamy, fruity. Um, yeah, and really looking forward to using him in the bath. And this one is £6.50. Um, and the other thing as well, apparently this glows in the dark, so I'll see if I can get some footage of it glowing in the dark for you. But what a cool idea is that? Here he is, he lights up really well, doesn't he? I think he's really cool. This is one of the items I had to dig out of the box and pop in the fridge um, once I remembered there were fridge items in here. And that is the Mr. Pumpkin face uh, face mask. And this is what it looks like inside. So it's a really um, orangey colour and it smells lovely. It smells really foody. Yeah, I, I really like that, but a little bit spicy as well. But not overly spicy, so I'm looking forward to using this one. Um, this is um, £10, so you probably get quite a few uses out of this. But don't forget, if you've got lots of black pots, um, then pop into your Lush store and with five black pots, and then you'll get this for free, hopefully. I can't get to a Lush store at the moment, so I thought I'm just going to have to order it online because I was really curious to try it. Heard really good things about this one. So the ingredients on this are pumpkin puree, glycerin cornstarch, organic pumpkin seed butter, ground pumpkin seeds, kaolin, cinnamon leaf oil, you can definitely pick up the cinnamon leaf a little bit, um, lime oil, sweet wild orange oil, which I don't normally like, but maybe I do in this. Um, Sicilian red mandarin oil, paprika, and oleo resin, and then a few other bits of perfume. But yeah, I really like the smell of this. Um, so it's, it's a very autumnal scent, it's a little bit spicy, but not overly spicy. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to giving this a go and seeing what it's like on the skin. And the next item, once again, I took a gamble and I bought a bigger pot just because I know that I love the scent. And I've even commented on a video that I'd really like this as like a shower gel scent or body spray or something. And that is the Sparkly Pumpkin Shower Slime. And this, I the first time I tried this scent was with the Easter Bunny Bubble Bar, I think it was called. Um, and I absolutely loved it and I thought oh, I'd love this to be a shower gel and yeah now we have a shower slime. So I did gamble and buy, I bought the 240 gram pot which is £12. You can get a smaller pot, um, 100 grams for £6. Um, but I just knew I was going to love it so I did order a bigger one. And the ingredients on this are glycerin, cornstarch, um, xanthan gum perfume, grapefruit oil, juniper berry oil, lime oil, fresh grapefruit juice, fresh orange juice, titanium dioxide, um, and then some other bits in there as well. Um, but yeah, this just smells so lovely. It's, it's a really fruity... Yeah, I... Do, I, I just sort of describe it as like a Christmassy sort of scent, not so much Halloween. But this is the same scent as the Sparkly Pumpkin Bubble Bar. I haven't tried that. 
um, but I have voted for it in the subscription box so I'm hoping that we get that as well so I can try it but for those of you that have tried the bubble bar that is what this scent is yeah love it and I just want to show you the texture as well so I've got a towel with me I've come prepared but look it's really like gooey kids will absolutely love this um, I, used to, I used to like slime muck and things like that when I was a kid um, but yeah so this is a lovely scent um, good for kids and for adults like me and the next item I got um, is coming in a little bag um, I think because it's quite strong smelling so they didn't want it to contaminate other products it was lying with and that is the labyrinth bubble bar um, so you can see it's like a little maze design on the front it's like a magenta pink colour and this is in the scent of Lord and Misrule again so patchouli, black pepper and vanilla and if you like the bath bomb you'll probably love this bubble bar because obviously you can get a few baths out of this as well so the bath bomb is probably a one-off use unless you cut it in half but you should get three or four baths out of this and this is quite strong yeah, this is quite strong smelling, so I can imagine you easily get four bars out of this. And this is six pounds. And the next item is um, the Monster Mash Fun. And it's got four different scents in here. So you can see there's four different colours. So the white one is the ghosty bath bomb scent. Um, then you've got the alien bubble bar, which is like a, a zesty citrusy scent. The pumpkin pumpkin bath bomb, which is like an orangey cinnamony aut autumnal scent, and then you've got the bat art um, bath bomb as well, which I haven't smelt yet. So the bat art is down the bottom of the box. So I'm just going to have a little sniff of this. It does smell nice actually, and um, you with fun you can you've got lots of different uses for fun it does come with some googly eyes in there as well and this is really good for children because you can mold it into shapes um, so they can make little um, animals and things like that if they want to in the bath so it's quite a fun product for children or for adults as well and you can use it in in the bath you can use it to wash your hair you can use it as hand soap so it's got multiple uses and I think the fact that it comes with four different scents as well is such a good idea because if you do once again have a limited budget and you want to try different scents then yeah you can just get this instead. Now this is a 200 gram bar of fun and it is £9.50. The next item I actually wasn't going to buy because I thought I've already got one um, but I'm actually really glad that I did um, because this one is fresh and um, I have noticed a difference already so um, that is the ghost in the dark soap so it's a really cute little ghost um, and this also glows in the dark and yeah I'm really looking forward to giving this a go but this is what um, the old design looks like so you may have seen my other um, video where I've shown the items I had in stock but yeah the design has changed so this looks like the ghosty bath bomb design now. And the scent of this is actually really nice. Yeah, I really like that. It's, see this one, I, yeah, this one's a little bit more musty. It's obviously a little bit old. And this one smells more lemony. I know it's got lemongrass in, but yeah, I really like, I'm really glad I got it now because I was umming and ahhing trying to save some money, but I'm really glad I've got one so I can actually try it fresh instead of using the old one, which yeah, just doesn't smell as nice in comparison. But yeah, really like that. So if you like soaps, and these soaps last for ages as well. So yeah, this is probably the next soap I'm going to use in the bathroom once I've used up my happy soap, which is still going. This soap is six pounds if you're interested. And here's a ghost in the dark um, shining up as well. So cute. So yes, yeah, so this is going to be a very long video. So if you need to pause, feel free and go grab a drink or something. Um, the next item is the UFO bath bomb. And it's a really cute design. 
So it's a little yellow UFO and then you do have a little lid that you can take off which looks looks like a spinning top so that comes separately and then inside you do have some um, bath crystals or bath salts. This smells quite zesty. You can pick up the lemongrass so um, it's got lemongrass and lemon in there um, and this one is quite expensive though, so this one is £8.50 and I would probably, I don't know, split it in two or something like that so I haven't decided how I'm going to use this one yet. So let me know if you tried it and how you used it. So the ingredients on this one are coarse sea salt, popping candy, black currant absolute. Yeah, you can sort of pick up a little bit but not majorly. Sicilian lemon oil, lemongrass oil, gardenia extract, um, and then perfume. Yeah, you can sort of pick up the, the black currant a little bit now, but it's more lemon and lemongrass I pick up. But yeah, no, I like that, so I look forward to using it. But yeah, let me know how you're using it yourselves. And the next item is another item that I had to pop in the fridge when it arrived. And that is the pumpkin sheet mask. And it comes all wrapped up. Um, I'm not going to undo it, but what I will do is I will do a little video when I do go to use it so I can do a little review. Let's see what it smells like. It smells quite nice actually. I don't know if I'm getting scents off other bath bombs and things in here though, so I would have to open it up properly to give it a, a good smell. But it does smell quite fruity, I think. And this is six pounds, and the ingredients on this are kaolin, um, glycerin, pumpkin puree, carrageenan extract, Brazilian orange oil, citral limonene. So yeah, so there is orange and pumpkin in here. But yeah, it smells nice, and I'm quite interested to, to give this a go to see what it's like. And the other item I got to go with the sheet mask, I thought, you know, I have ordered practically everything. I might as well just order these as well is the pumpkin iPads. Once again they are wrapped up and these are £3.50. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can get two uses out of them so I'll use one side um, on my eye and then turn them over and then use the other side so I'll see how I get on. And the ingredients for this are glycerin water, pumpkin puree, carrageenan extract and activated charcoal. I'll see if I can pick up a scent. Definitely smells very pumpkin-y, so um, yeah, once again quite foody. So yeah, I look forward to giving those a go with the sheet mask. So once again, I'll do a little video review on these too. So yeah, but you must keep these in the fridge and you do have a shelf life on these as well. So make sure you use up the fridge items in time. It will have an expiry date on the back um, on the sticker. Oh, and then the next little bath bomb is really cute. I've heard really good things about this as well. Um, and that is the pumpkin pumpkin bath bomb and um, I love the design of it, love the colours, it's just so perfect for Halloween and autumn. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, it doesn't smell how it's, I thought it was going to be a lot more spicy actually. I really like that, it's actually quite um it's like spicy but a, a milder spice with um, like quite fresh orangey sort of scent. Yeah, I like that. So um, yeah, totally different to how I expected it. And this one is five pounds um, and it's a flat bath bomb on the back. And what I'll do is I'll do a little demo on this as well. And the ingredients on this are cinnamon leaf oil. Yeah, you can sort of pick that up. Lime oil, sweet wild orange oil, yeah, so it, ha it has got a citrus element. Sicilian red mandarin oil, pumpkin powder, and those are the maintenance notes. But yeah, I really like that. Um, if you like citrusy, spicy, ge very gentle spicy, you'll really like this. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with that. And the next item I was really looking forward to trying, because I absolutely love this sort of scent and that is the tarantula shower jelly and it is quite a big pot so it's 170 grams and this was eight pounds and um, I haven't smelt this yet so looking forward to giving it a sniff it 
Oh wow, yeah, that is really, that's really cherry amaretto. Um, amaretto, um, it's one of my favourite drinks. I don't drink alcohol anymore, I haven't drunk alcohol for over five years now, but I used to love um, like a Di Serrano and Coke, it used to be one of my favourite drinks. Um, I do drink coffee, flavoured coffees, and amaretto is my favourite, so yeah, love the scent of this. Yeah, that is a beautiful scent. And the ingredients on this, glycerin, cherry infusion, carrageenan extract, perfume, divana oil, lime oil, almond essential oil, activated charcoal, um, and then some other bits in there as well. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my towel out again, and then I'm gonna show you what he's like in my hand. So I'm gonna pop him out, Try not to make a mess and get it all over my laptop. So I'll do it over my towel. So yeah, look at him, isn't he cute? Um, such a clever idea. Those of you that are scared of spiders, you might not like this so much, but yeah, I really like him. What I'll do is I'll do a separate demo on this because I don't want to get um, amaretto juice all over my laptop. Um, but yeah, really clever idea. I love the detailing as well. You can even sort of see like he's got a hairy body and he's also got a little, he's got a cute little face as well. So yeah, I really like him. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know what I think of him. Pop him back in his pot for now. And the next item in here is the Bigfoot bath bomb. And once again, I haven't smelt this one. Um, so I'll give it a little sniff in a minute. And this one is £4.50 and um, it's quite a cute little design and apparently this is the same scent as Monsters Ball. So for those of you that know Monsters Ball, this is the same scent. I haven't tried that so I've got nothing to compare it to, so let's see what I think. Cool. Yeah, it's really, really quite zingy. Yeah, I like that, that's nice. So far I'm liking all the scents in this um, Halloween collection. There's quite a lot of ingredients in this one. So you've got coconut milk powder. Oh, it's got popping candy as well. Epsom salts, Himalayan rock salt, lime oil, neroli oil, olibanum resinoid, cream of tartar, um, and then, yeah, lots of other bits, colours and so on. But yeah, that's a lovely scent. Yeah, looking forward to using this one and seeing what the colours are like in the water as well. Now the design on the next one I just think is so cool, I think it's really really clever and that is the Screamo bubble bath. So um, it's mainly blue and then it's obviously got the white bits on there so I imagine it would be quite pretty in the water but I love the Scream design, it's so well done. And apparently that last year this was a bubble bar on a stick or something um, which I obviously haven't tried again so looking forward to smelling this one see what it's like. It smells fruity, um, but um, it's described as cherry scented, but I don't get so much cherry. So I get a little bit of the sultana scent in here as well. The ingredients on this one are benzoin resinoid, ylang ylang oil, almond essential oil, cream of tartar, um, titanium dioxide. So yeah, so those are the main scents. Yeah, looking forward to trying this one and as I said I just absolutely love the design and this one is five pounds and then the next item I think is a really cute design again and this one's a very affordable bath bomb so once again if you're on a tight budget then this is a little one that you could try or great for children and that is the I want my mummy bath bomb so um, it's a little mummy and um, I just think the design is just so cute and let's see what he smells like. Oh, okay, yeah, it smells, it's very similar to Honey, I Wish the Kids. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's like a um, caramelly toffee flavor. Um, it's like a caramelly toffee sort of scent, but quite creamy as well. Um, if, you, um, if you've tried Shoot for the Stars bath bomb, it's that sort of scent as well. But yeah, that's really nice um, and I imagine this would be quite good for people that are sensitive um, to bath bomb scents and glitter and all of that because it looks quite, quite simple. Um, the ingredients on this are sodium bicarbonate, citric acid, 
cupuaçu butter. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. It sounds Portuguese to me, so I'm going to pronounce it that way because uh, my mum's Portuguese. It just looks Portuguese. Um, tapioca, tapioca starch, titanium dioxide, cream of tartar, sodium cocoa sulfate, Brazilian orange oil, bergamot oil, um, and then there's some other bits in there as well, and some perfume. But yeah, that's a lovely scent as well, so I look forward to using this one, seeing what I think. And another item I've never tried before, and once again, I think it's a really cute little design. Um, and that is the Alien Bubble Bath and it's a lovely lime green sort of colour and um, once again you can get a few baths out of this so you could probably get three I'm guessing baths maybe two three um, let's see what it smells like oh that's lovely that's really zingy and fresh so far I've liked the sense of everything in this box so yeah it's going well but yeah, that is lovely. Um, this is £5.50, so once again, um, more cost effective than a bath bomb if you don't have the money. And the ingredients on this scent wise are bergamot oil, litsia cubeba oil, benzoin resinoid, glycerin water. So yeah, so very citrusy um, and zesty. But yeah, that's lovely. So the fun, the Monster Mash fun, that's one of the scents in there as well. And then the next item is a Halloween classic at Lush. And that is the Lord of Misrule bath bomb. So last year they changed the design and it actually looked like a beach ball. Um, the scent was the same, but I think everybody was in uproar because they wanted this old design back. So when this dissolves in the water, the water ends up like a wine colour, so it looks like um, a dark red wine or like blood, I suppose you could think. Um, but this once again is the patchouli, vanilla and black pepper. Um, and I know it's one of the most popular bath bombs at Lush, so let's give it a smell. Yeah, this is, um, it's also like the orangutan bath bomb, if you've tried that one, that was a cute little bath bomb they bought out recently. Exactly the same scent. If you haven't tried Lord of Misrule, then I'd highly recommend trying the shower gel first um, because I tend to find it's less strong than like the bath bomb and the bubble bath smells really strong actually. So I would try the shower gel first and, and see what you think. And maybe if possible, try it in store. Don't just sniff it out the bottle like I did. Try it in store on your hands or on your arms because then you get a better feeling for what the scent is like out of the bottle. Um, and this is the 200 gram bath bomb and this one is £5.50. I'll probably do another demo on this. I have done a video on the Lord of Misrule but the bath bomb I had was old so it was like a year old and I've actually compared it to last year's. So if you're interested in seeing a combination of the two and the differences, then don't forget to check my other videos so you can have a look. And then the next item I haven't tried yet either, um, so I've just dug it out from the bottom of the box, and that is the Cyclops Bubble Bath. And he's really cute with his little eyeball there. And um, it's a lovely colour. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, this is really, really fruity. Yeah, that's quite an uplifting fruity scent. Yeah, I do like that. Um, and this one is five pounds. So you can probably get two baths out of this, I reckon. Um, and what you tend to do is just crumble some off and then pop it under the running water to create lots of bubbles. The ingredients on this one are buchu oil, which is a bit like black currant. Litsia cubeba oil, sweet wild orange oil. Yeah, it's a really fruity, and yeah, I really like the scent of this one. But yeah, what I'll do is a little demo and you can see what it's like. If you're still watching with me, well done. I did warn it was going to be a long video. Um, the next one I've been really looking forward to trying because I've heard really good things about it as well, and that is the Bat Art bath bomb. Um, I don't know if you can pick up on there all the glitter that's on this bath bomb. Really pretty design, full of shimmer. And let's see what it smells like. Oh, I thought I actually thought it was going to be more herby smelling, but I'm really glad it isn't. You do smell um, like a fruity element to it. 
But yeah, that smells nice. So let me check out the ingredients for you. So the ingredients on this one are perfume, Sicilian lemon oil, green mandarin oil, rosemary oil, sage oil. That's why I thought it was going to be quite herby. Water. Um, and those are the main things. So yeah, it does, it does have like a citrusy, fruity side to it as well as herby. But yeah, this smells really nice. Um, much better than I expected it to smell actually so I'm really pleased about that but I'll do a little demo on this one as well and see what I think and this one is five pounds look at the amount of shimmer left on my fingers just after touching it for a few seconds yeah lots of shimmer on that one I'm gonna be very busy doing all the review all these reviews aren't I um, so the next item I've got is the toil and trouble and this is a shower scrub and I'm really curious to see what this smells like as well because I wasn't 100% sure if I'd like the scent. So this is 250 grams and it is 12 pounds. So I'm just gonna smell it now and then I'll read out the ingredients to you. Actually, I really like that. I really didn't, I wasn't sure about this one because of the, I think it's got lavender, patchouli and other bits in here, but that's really nice. Yeah, I really like that. So if, you, if you're not keen on lavender, you'll notice on other, my other videos I'm not a huge fan. I'll give it a smell in store because you might be surprised that you actually like it. Yeah, I really like that. So the ingredients on this are fine sea salt, lavender flower infusion, water, peppermint infusion. I don't pick up the peppermint so much. Once again, if you don't like peppermint, definitely still give this a smell. Um, glycerin, labdomen resinoid. That was another thing I was worried about. But no, it's actually quite, quite nice. Oris oil, patchouli oil, sage oil carrageenan extract um, and then perfume and some other bits yeah I know pleasantly surprised by this I must admit um, I don't know if you can see but it's a very dark purple color and sitting on the top of it I'll try and get them out for you um, are some bats as well let me see if I can get one out so how cool is that Little bats, I think there's two, from what I can see, jelly bats sitting in there. Um, such a cool idea. The, the things they come up with is um, quite ingenious, really. Yeah, so I'm really pleasantly surprised by this. Um, I would recommend it, even if you don't like lavender, it's definitely worth giving it a go. And yeah, it's a very dark purple colour scrub and I love body scrubs. The body scrubs from Lush, I think they are brilliant. So yeah, I really do like them. But what I'll do is I'll do a separate review on this as well so you can see what it's like in the bathroom. Um, and if there's anything in particular you want me to review first, just let me know and I can sort that out for you. So this is another product. So, so far, so good. I think this, this haul is really, really good. It's impressed me so far. I'm just going to wash my hands quickly. And then the next item I got, I told you I did go all out for this haul, which is why it's cost me a fortune. But I also wanted to try this, and this is the Ectoplasm Create Kit. Um, so what you do is you get some ingredients in here, and then you mix them up, and then you make some ectoplasm slime. So I thought I'd really like to do that because I've not tried the slime. And this kit is £10 and you may end up making two pots of it. Um, I don't think it comes with a pot, so I'm going to find some empty pots to make up the um, product in. And then I'll do a little demo of it as well for you. So yeah, so this is a really fun product, I think, for kids or teenagers and they can make their own slime. And the ingredients on this, um, I just thought once again, is right up my street. Um, so you've got tangerine oil, grapefruit oil, litsia cubeba oil, perfume. So once again, really um, citrusy, zesty. And I thought, yeah, I definitely want to give that a go. So yeah, that's the next item I got. So the next item I got is the Vampire Kisses Lip Scrub. Steve has decided he's going to join me. So I think he's taking a liking to my pumpkin throw. Um, so yeah, he's just going to sit behind my head, if that's okay. 
and um, I'm not a huge user of lip scrubs but um, Curiosity got the better of me and I do use them occasionally so I thought I'd give this one a go and this is £6.50 and with the lip scrubs um, what you do you just take a little bit on your finger um, rub it into your lips um, it's got oils in and things so it just gives them a good exfoliation and then leaves them feeling moisturized as well um, so um, this one I'm going to have a little taste and see what I think um, but it's supposed to be like a sour grape oh yeah it is let's give it a taste yeah that's nice actually um, it tastes um, like some sour sweets so yeah I do like that um, so yeah I'm glad I've given it a go um, it's um, I do have a lip scrub I'm not too fond of and that was a galaxy lip scrub I just I just found it had a funny bit of an aftertaste but this one is really nice so I would recommend it especially if you like sour grape sort of scents so the ingredients of this are caster sugar, organic um, jojoba oil, fair trade shea butter, organic cold pressed grapeseed oil, juniper berry oil, I do like juniper berry oil, um, sweet wild orange oil, citric acid, lemon in flavour, colour. So yeah, this is very nice actually, so I would recommend giving this a go. And these lip scrubs last absolutely ages because you only need a little bit at a time. Um, I don't even think I've finished off my lip scrubs from last Christmas year that I got in gift sets, so they're still going. I'm still using the golden pineapple, that's a lovely one. Um, and I bought a mint julep sometime last year, that is also still going. So yeah, I won't be buying another one of these because I've got enough lip scrubs at the moment. But yeah, I'd recommend giving this one a go. And the last item in the box, yeah, we got to the end, um, is the Lord of Misrule Body Spray. And I thought I would give this a go. I have tried the perfume and the perfume actually gave me a headache. Um, but I thought I would try giving this a go just to see um, how I got on. And I thought if I don't like it, I can always sell it on because I know these are really popular um, and this will sell really easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray a bit on this towel because I'm actually wearing a different body spray at the moment. And once again, this is the iconic patchouli vanilla black pepper that everybody seems to, well, a lot of people seem to love. So let's see what this smells like. I bet my cat won't like it. I bet he won't be sitting on the sofa for much longer. So yeah, I've just sprayed a little bit on the towel. It does smell nice, actually. Um, it doesn't smell as strong as the perfume, which I'm really pleased about. Um, yeah, I think once again, it's one of those things that I'd have to try wearing and, and then see how it goes. Because sometimes I can put perfume on and then it will give me a headache um, half an hour, an hour later. Oh yeah, so let me know if you like this body spray. And this scent is a really good unisex scent as well. So if I decide I don't like it, I might see if my boyfriend's interested in it. So the body sprays from Lush are quite expensive though. So this size bottle, which is 200 mils, is £25. Some of the other body sprays are £20, like Snow Fairy last year was £20. I love that one, it's one of my favourites. Um, but they do, the scent does last a long time. So, um, I mean, one that I tried in a shop was the Rose Jam and Flippinec. That lasted for days on my, um, I tried it on a glove. And then I tried Let the Good Times Roll as well. I tried it on the sleeve of my coat. And once again, that smell lasted four days, I think three or four days or something until the scent started to dissipate a little bit. But yeah, so if you like Lord of Misrule, then definitely give this a go. That is the end of my haul. So if you got this far, well done. I have to say that this is probably my favourite haul that I've done so far, um, because with the Mother's Day, there was a few items in there I didn't like. With Easter, I think there was something in there that I wasn't a huge fan of, and so on, Father's Day. But so far, I like everything in this selection, which is really unusual for me. And yeah, I'm really impressed with um, all the different types of things as well, and the creativity with like the little bats. I think the spider is brilliant, and I love the scent of that. I love the sparkly pumpkin slime, um, that's one of my favourite scents. The blood orange shower gel, love that. 
um, and the toil and trouble scrub as well. I didn't, I wasn't sure if I was going to like that. So really pleasantly surprised with everything. Um, the pumpkin, pumpkin bath bomb, ghosty bath bomb. So many nice items in this Halloween haul. And I think this tin is brilliant as well. Just so good for storage. So I'm going to probably store a few bits in here. Um, and um, yeah, I'd highly recommend this tin because I just think it's such a lovely design, particularly if you're into Halloween and ghouls and that sort of thing. Yeah, I think that's great for storing products in. And also the ghosty soap really surprised me um, because it's a lot fresher. Um, the smell is a lot nicer than I expected it was going to be smelling the old one. So yeah, really like that. Um, so yeah, let me know which items you ordered, which items um, you have tried so far, and which are your favourites. So if you like this video, don't forget to press the like button, leave me comments down below. If you want me to review anything first, let me know. I think what I'll probably review first will be the shower gel, because I love shower gels and that one just smells lovely. Um, and then I might do the spider next, because that smells really lovely as well. Um, and if you want to enter the competition um, to win some goodies, don't forget to subscribe. I will have, obviously, I've got a lot of products here to review, so I'll have lots of videos coming up soon with bits and bobs in. So thank you very much for watching and when it arrives, happy Halloween and I will see you on the next video.